Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see where Elasticsearch is used. I mean to say, we are going to cover use cases of Elasticsearch. So as you can see on my screen, I'm going to cover few points over here. First is full text search, autocomplete or fuzzy searches. Second is analytical. Third, multi-tenancy. Fourth, schema free. And fifth, user defined searches. We'll cover one by one each what it is. Now, it's not a surprise that full text search as a core capability of Elasticsearch and it is in its highest list. So Elasticsearch has its own query DSL. And what makes it sometime autocomplete and it gives you a responses like did you mean and it predict the search based on the search history. So it gives me the complete keyword search, complete full text search, fuzzy search, autocomplete search, search and you will be getting the suggestions. Now let, let's move to the next point that is analytical. So Elasticsearch will give you a plenty of option for, for grabbing data wherever it lives and getting it indexed. From there, tools like Kibana give you the ability to create dashboards and analyze your data. So Elasticsearch is providing you the tool like Kibana where you can perform your complete visualization of your data. So it's a data analytical tool. Now let's move to the point number three that is multi-tenancy. As in the previous lecture also I have explained the single tenancy and multi-tenancy difference. So you might be knowing that Elasticsearch has a multi-tenancy capability. That means, suppose if you have multiple customer or user with a separate collection of document and a user should never be able to see the document that does not belong to him. So this will lead to a design means for every user there, he, the, the user should have their own index. So this makes it a multi-tenancy architecture. Now the next point is schema free that will help you to leverage data stored. What does it mean? Why would I need leverage in data story? Suppose you are dealing with big data and you have multiple customer and we also see a lot of use case, you know, where different user can have completely different document. For example, if you are providing user surveys or questionaries as a service, it's likely that different survey have completely different field. So that makes it easier to store the data. So that's why it is a schema free. Now point number fifth is a user defined searches. So in Elasticsearch, user can define, can restrict their own searches with the help of aggregation query or they have query DSL to create their own search criteria. So if a user wants to uh, search on particular field, they can search. If, you, if, if the user want to search on the complete document, they can do. So every search is will be user defined in Elasticsearch. So these are the few important use cases of Elasticsearch. Hope you understood it. If you have understood this completely, then don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.